Hello there, YouTubers. Welcome to another episode of Jim's Cartoon Tube. Let me just get this camera sorted out. It's been a bit of a pain. I'm gonna jump right in and let's draw Mr. P. Oh, it's his PR guy. Now, Porco Rosso is the type of character that I would have thought I could draw from memory. And I can thereabouts. In fact, I'm going to draw how I always remember. I always sort of do it like that. Okay, from these kind of dog ears. And I get that far, which is okay. And then I think, wait a sec. Number one, how do I draw the mouth? Is it like that? Number two, that's his snout, right? So where does his moustache go? I was thinking, huh, I can't visualize where the moustache goes. It goes from here, it goes on top, it goes down, it actually just goes like that. Something like that. I got this camera set up on a shaky table. His ears are actually be more sort of down like this. More that that shape. But you know his hair would be like this. But let me try that again. And I'm gonna change the pencil. No, I'm not. Okay, so we start off with. I don't know whether it'd be easy to draw a circle first, maybe? Yeah. And then. What we need is this kind of shape. Okay. Draw in our construction lines. Draw in our rounded triangle, that's our snout. One circle here, one circle there. That handlebar moustache again. Now, I'm adding my own sort of style into this. So it's not going to be 100% Ghibli photocopied. If you want that, just go to Google. But this is kind of just a simple rundown, a breakdown of the the elements of Porco Rosso. And his glasses have a sort of rounded shine, and his his flight hat, his flight helmet. I've got the goggles up here. And those, that shine is going to be straight. I don't know whether that was a conscious decision or what, but... Um, so I'm actually drawing pilot fatigue. Rosso, and he's got a big swooping scarf over here. Alright. It's got a long white scarf that swoops down like that. That's his helmet. And he's got those things on the side where it... I don't know what you call those things. They're to protect your ears when you're flying or keep out the sound of the engine. But I think he's going to have a hard time hearing because his ears actually flap down like that underneath. So when he puts this helmet on, they're going to be really squashed to his head. So how does he... How does he hear things? Oh well. Mine is not to ask why. Right, so. I'm going to darken this in a bit so you can see it a bit better. Hope I don't ruin it. There's a good chance I will. So, 
Today we'll start with the face. And did you hear they're going to make, well, he's thinking of making a sequel, which is kind of odd, isn't it? You don't think of Ghibli making sequels, but then again, I didn't think of Disney making sequels. In fact, I remember when I was at secondary school, I had this big argument because somebody was telling me that there was an Aladdin 2, and I was like, no, you're a fool if you think that, that's impossible, because it's against Disney policy. Well, he had the last laugh because he was right. There was an Aladdin 2, and that, that was about 1994, 5 or 6, something like that. And that was the, the day animation died, as far as I'm concerned. So again, round shine for the... There we go. And you could also draw like a cigarette or something. You could just sort of stick a broken, a bent cigarette out of his mouth there at the end. If you want to do that, just did that as an option. <laughs> Maybe a few lines like that. And that is a basic one. Did another version over here before. Did one in drink, drinking wine. Uh, yeah, let's try the. Let's try the human form. 